All loaded up. Good job, mini truck. Let's see what we got, huh? It's like open a big Christmas present. She's pretty. Look at that. Ah, oh, I like the tank. I like the seat too. It's got the toolbox. Oh, it's got a little rack in the back. I definitely like the black rims better than the chrome ones in the picture. Yeah. You know what? I'm happy it's on that and not the finish. Oh, they put a little filter in there now. It's not an O-ring chain. It's got an adjustable rear shock. Tao motor. It's Tao motor. How about this side? This side good? Yeah. Well, it really doesn't take that much to put together, does it? No. Oh, the piece that's supposed to be welded up there broke. This piece right here. It was supposed to be welded to that. No damage, all right. No, I don't see anything. Looks like the same cluster as the Hawk. I like that it comes with that rack. And that'll, it looks like it'll fit on the Hawk. So anybody that wants to buy that rack, it'll fit right on that. Now the motor is supposed to be the same, but it sure as hell looks different. Or is that just the covers? And this doesn't come with the eye sight glass. It's got to go with the oil. Disc brakes in the rear. This is still angled wrong. That's LED sweet. signals, yeah. Well, uh, look. Whoa! Yeah. That's the birthmark of the Chinese motorcycles. A boo. Where'd that Tired come from? The disc. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone has a scar. A little touch-up <laughs> paint, yeah. It actually almost kind of looks like stove paint a little bit. Oh, look at this. It's got pollution shit on. It's got the little air tube. Oh, it's not a. It's not a gel battery. Yeah. It's not the one in the picture. A little different in the picture. The black wheels. They reinforce this a little more. Yeah. This looks like it might be pushed in. Oh, it's double enforced too. You're gonna have to bend this. <laughs> Dual sport tires. Braided brake line. That's new. D O T S A E. That's better braking, so you don't have the sponginess. Is that in the back too? It sure is. Nice, huh? Oh uh, yeah, that's good. That's a definite better brake line. Brembo brakes. I was kidding! <laughs> nah. I was only kidding! This looks the same. Man, I'm glad they put this spring on. That's a pain in the ass. I know. Look at that. Hardened bolts now, too. Even these. That one isn't. Got a little paint you can see through here that they missed. That's horrible. You paint that black. Yeah, these decals aren't going to stay long. Yeah, those are You horrible. can see they're ready to come off already. Not bad. What's up, mini truck? <laughs> oh, yeah. Burrito tube. Little burrito from, like, Taco Bell. Yo quiero Taco Bell. <laughs> Yeah, it looks a little better, huh? Uh, they come through there. What the hell is that? That's for the guard, hand guard. There's four of those. See? Yeah. These four do that. These go to the end for sure. These go to the end. Got the adjuster for the headlight right there. Well, you know, hardly anything hooked up for this. All right. Does this go this way? Or, yeah, that way. And then. Boy, that's close. <laughs> Got to tighten them up. Here, I can't get it from my angle. 
I missed a hole. It's gotta oh, stretch the rubber. Line. Get the fit. I'm used to it. <laughs> so. Oh wait a minute, what's holding? Oh there we go. Never mind. <laughs> that works. Not great. Trying to get it, get it. Gotta get, get. There. My bench is getting cluttered. It just. Yeah, you yeah no, that it. sounds alright. It sounds like you got it pretty yeah, good. I just hand tightened that. Oh. L literally. I, I didn't nothing. know if it had to be. Got a rat on it just there. Building it. That's the new Teo Teo TBR7. It's Tau Tau. Ready? Now you can let it down. Hold on to it because he's going to pull that out and then we can take that metal bracket right out. Hang on to it. Just put it out of the way. Okay. Don't squeeze the brake. Hold on to it. Ready? Yep. It's got to go up right there. And then hold it. This, this space are there. Right? And then that goes in the groove there. All right. Send it. Oh, yeah. She's pretty. Can I let go of it? Yep. Yeah, she's good. Really so like it don't look blue. bad. Yeah, it's a nice blue. Chains. That chain is tight. Maybe, maybe we should adjust that before we let it down. Center of the tire here is exactly center of this shock. And that's what you want. Tighten her up. Let this pop off the front. It seems like they all have like the hawk, mark. right? That's exactly what I said. Birthmark. Oh, it's got a rubber thing there, too. Yeah. Look at that. It's all charged up. Put on a trickle charger, yep. Is there a vent on that? No. You gotta have that on the back. This strap don't look long enough. There ain't no way that's gonna stretch. Holy shit, how'd you do that, Hulk? Hercules, Hercules, Hercules! Gorilla. You want a little pen? No, I don't need a little prick. I already got one of those. <laughs> Alright, this is negative. Negative. Gudenhoff. Let's tie wrap this out over here, too. That's a pretty good spot. You know what? This is not lined up like the other ones. It's tipped and it's not pointing toward the arm. Well, it's supposed to be shooting straight to that lever and it's pointing up in the air. Do this on the hawk, too. Like just a hair more. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. It's too tight still. You might have to adjust that when down there. You should have, like, almost a quarter to half inch free play on that. I loosened it up by the handle, there's not enough room. That's good like that. Everybody always asks how much free play they're supposed to have. It should be like that before you get the... There is adjustment up there on the top. Yeah. Ah, it's got one of those. We're going to have to do like the old hawks, they had that. Well, I guess we'll go get the ramp, and we'll take her down. Definitely want to check the oil. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's full. Yeah, we got to put that rack on too, huh? Yep. Move Bigger, 14 uh, maybe. Handles down. Oh yeah, they gotta go down. Oh, neutral light, yeah. Choke is on? Yep. Ready? Good. Hmm. 
choke is off or on. Huh. Sounds good. You never adjust the idle through that. You want to have free play. Because if you turn the wheel, you don't want the cable, you don't want the cable look. Oh, well, actually, it's a little taller than the hawk. Yeah, these levers definitely got to go down. Yeah, you can smell all that paint cooking. Oh, yeah. It is tall. I had the gear thing, Didn't too. Didn't you do something to lower the hawk a little, a little bit? Well, you could drop these in the front, but this has adjustable shock. You couldn't do that on the hawk. Oh, the gear selector works. Oh, God. Boy, they butt them tight. Personally, I like them a tad loose, so if you fall, they'll move. Yeah, it's perfect. But you gotta have your hands gotta be relaxed. Yeah. Just like that. That's about right. You got a little, just enough play. Still a little bit of adjustment up here. Headlight works? Yep. Uh, once it breaks in, the idle gets a little bit more consistent too. Well. Feels like the choke is on. <laughs> it's definitely off. Yeah, I think it's lean. That, the wiring wasn't in there, so I put it in. Bent the tabs. Let's take this cover off and try it. Drive it with the cover off. See if it's choking out here. That's a Briggs and Stratton filter. Same. I'm gonna have to take the carburetor off. Fuck, but. Yeah, well. Yeah, see, it's definitely opening. Shouldn't be nothing left. Tamper-proof screws, so we got to fix that. And it's got the tamper-proof mixture adjustment. The old ones came with a 98. This is something's not right here. Look at this kit I got off of eBay for like just under 20 bucks. Comes with a spark plug, jets. Look, it's got a whole rebuilding kit. It comes with the screws to replace the ones we just cut and a 17 tooth front sprocket. See if there's a 105. See, I don't know. See if there's a 105 in there. Oh, that's right. Drill bit if you want to drill out pilot jet. Don't want to lose that. Good thing you look. This is a 105. That's it. That's the one we want. Oh, he did give a little pilot jet. Everything. So that we don't need. That we don't need. We don't need that. Just need those three. This we're going to need. So we don't have to shim it. And we're going to go right one below. The center, that's the center. It's almost like you need to get I got her. I don't know if I want to change the pilot right just yet. Usually it's good out out about two, two and a quarter. You gotta get that cap right there out. But we should put it back together so nothing gets in the carburetor because we're done inside. Well, he's pretty good. He puts a bunch he put a few kits together. The last one I used was doing a valve adjustment. He gives you everything you need, feeler gauges. The little proper tool to adjust the valves. There 
it is. They used to put a plastic one in. Half, one, one and a half, a little over one and a half, so we're gonna go half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half. That's pretty much a golden number. I guess we'll take the idle. That looks like this one. Yes, it does. Right? Well, there's only two, so that one looks closer. Yeah. This is a trick that people can't get. They can never get this friggin' throttle thing back in there. Because you gotta hold this spring back at the same time. That long groove has to line up with that pin in there. Because that groove is what the idle adjustment, when you push it in, it lifts this up and down. You see how it's tapered? Make sure it goes all the way down in when you're putting it together. Okay. Throttle. Full throttle. Oh, I got it. I got it. Oh, she's going to run now. It's always boggy when it's cold because it's super lean. Yeah, you gotta break it in <laughs> so I'm not revving the shit out of it. She purrs. Put that 17 tooth rocket on there. No, or you do, you do. Yeah, it's like the old Hawk. I didn't mean I'm I'm not revving it out because it's still breaking in. Uh, yeah, I think I got about 45. No, well, that's good. It's a locking nut, so you won't lose it. The other ones. Now kick that rear tire. I hold it. Kick it forward. See how much we get. Oh yeah, we got probably enough. Hey, that's the nice thing about these bikes is they're so easy to work on, you know. Some people used to have problems with a hitting. I'm trying. It's amazing how that is a life changer on these bikes. Oh, yeah, well. The Hawk does like 65, <clears throat> 70, yeah. I think, yeah. with that sprocket. Yeah, see, a lot of people say, oh, is this supposed to flop after it's tight? Yeah, it does. Got it. Got her all modded up in the first day. It's got some good grease on that chain too. It's that nice sticky grease. Hold that back brake if you can. Uh, and I can tighten right. it. Jesus. The hole's getting sloppy. This one's got the grounds on it. Weird flex, but okay. Put it there. I didn't think you would have put it on a frame bolt. So now I gotta take the chain. Right? Yeah. Hey, mini truck. Got a little less. Got about a turn less. All right. That's, That's pretty good. It's, it looks like it's center. 
and then this that's the slack you want right there oh yeah we're good starts right up good now Cruise is 50 like nothing. I think it's good now. I like it. I think they're going to sell a lot of them because a lot of people were looking for dual sport Hawks. So this is it. A little tinkering just like every other Chinese bike I've ever had. I like it. It's pretty. Rides nice. Adjustable suspension. How can you go wrong? 50 state legal they claim. Go get one. You get money off if you use Moto Cheese on checkout at TX Power Sports. They've always treated me right. But wait! Somehow I lost a footage of how to stop the annoying beeper. It's just like the Hawk. It's this little box underneath the seat. Take it out, open it up, snip one of the wires, and put it all back together again. Done. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want notifications on new videos. I have links for all of the products I use in the description and on MotorCheese.com. Thanks for watching.